when you guys can get something that's either 250 pounds or three of them for around a thousand pounds that will change your photography and here's the most important part it will enable you to stand out from all of your competition when you guys can put this on your arm you can hold your camera you can sit this up and shoot and you can shoot all day you can put this right on the shoe of your camera that's what it's meant to do a wedding right when I'm looking for focus oh. <laughs> that was set up okay, you thought play for it. yes all right that's the drop test precisely all right. so see you can drop them But when you can go like this, and you can take it, and you can be hands-free, think about it. With your camera, you can shoot. You can focus on anything. You can light for anything. No matter where you turn, your light is fantastic. Which, when I would pose uh, a model, or a bride, or whoever it might be, I, would, I had, a, I had a, a rectangular light, right? And that light, when I would flip it vertically, that light would light from about here to about here. And I noticed in all of my shots, the legs were cold. The legs weren't lit. And or, even worse, when it's dark, they were just black. They're just under, vastly underexposed. So the first thing I noticed when I started using these lights was the fact that... <coughs> you guys see the throw on these? You see how wide that is? That was the very, very, very first thing I noticed. There is, there is light from, even on a light stand, there is light from her legs all the way above her head. That's very important to me. I want to light my subjects. I want to be able to get in close. I, and the further this throws the light, the, the wider the throw, it's softer light. I don't have that hard light coming down as a, rectang as a rectangle or a square right onto somebody's face. You guys see that? The other thing I loved about these lights, they were very light. I could very easily manipulate them. Who here struggles again with the shadows, right? The best way you could possibly teach yourself how to use and mitigate shadows from your photography is through video lights. You can even teach yourself how to do flash better by practicing with continuous lighting. Why? You don't have to, if I'm using a flash in this scenario, boom, fire flash. I have to look at the picture, change the flash, move the angle, change the power ratio, so on and so forth. It's, it's a very painstaking process. Whereas if I take this video light, I can see, okay, there, here I have some Rembrandt lighting, right, coming in. Here I have some profile lighting. Here I have some loop lighting. I can actually take it around and I can do everything that I want to do and I can figure out where I want her to be. I can figure out where my shadows are just because this light is a constant light source. One thing I love is, let's say I'm shooting with a longer lens. Here's the power, here's the benefit of shooting with the Neo versus a, a, a continuous light that isn't nearly as strong. See how much light I'm getting on her? Earlier on you guys were asking me. Head to toe, look at that guys. And you can see, see where it leaves? How do you like to know everybody's checking you out, Katie? <laughs> okay, so, now you can see, see, see that's what I was talking about. When I was talking about these lights, how she's covered from head to toe. Look at her feet. You can tell when the exposure falls off, okay? This is on full power, okay? So, if I have a 70 to 200 lens, right, which I do, I can shoot with the 70 to 200 for you guys. If I have a 70 to 200, I can light her right here. How far away is this? I don't know, 15 feet? I'd say more or less, okay? I can light her. Now, why would it be beneficial to be able to be this far away from your subject? Think about it, why? Wide shots. Wide shots, perfect, that's a great answer. Um, why would I want to take a shot where, um, instead of being up here at, oh, I don't know, 40%, there's shots I can certainly take like this, more of a portrait, more of a planned shot, right? Her, um, boyfriend's name is Arpad, okay? 
I, I had to think because I always forgot his name. We, I started calling him iPad and Armpit. Okay, <laughs> that's a true story. So you'll see it in the video. But uh, they're getting married. It's their wedding day. Please, for the love of God, as a wedding photographer, don't be that guy who walks this close to your, your couple during their first dance. I see people do that. I seriously just want to throw one of my old Nikons at them. Okay? Best thing you can do is come back, put it on, and start shooting. Okay? Now I'm giving them, now I'm giving them distance to be themselves. Now you might say to yourself that as I'm lighting her, you might say that she's standing there and she's gonna be she's gonna be aware of the light. Guys, we're in a room full of a hundred people. She's the only person up here. Of course she's aware of the light. Guess what? It's her wedding day. She's with uh, iPad and they're sitting there and they're dancing. It's the time of their life. Her mom's there, dad's there, everyone's there. There's music playing. She totally forgets about the light. The light is the least of her concerns. And when she turns and she has that moment, because it, it happens at almost every wedding, where she's putting her, she's wrapped her arms around her and she's, she has her, her head on his shoulder and I fire, I now have perfect catch light in her eyes. That's the other thing we didn't talk about. I know we spoke about catch light, but what is flash? It's square, right? Mm -hmm. You ever seen those nasty square lights in your eyes? It's hideous. When you guys use a round light, it's incredibly flattering. Let me grab one. I'll put on the 70 to 200. Show you guys how you can use the different lenses. Now who, did you guys, did all of you guys bring cameras today? Good. So I want you guys to be able to play a little bit with these later on. Because we're photographers, we want to touch the toys. So, let me grab this. Now this is a lens that we would, that many of us as wedding photographers, event photographers would use, the 70 to 200, right? Now with Sony, it's not a, it's not a 2.8. So I have even a more, I have a disadvantage compared to Nikon or Canon, because Nikon or Canon, you're at, you're at, uh, you know, you're at 2.8, we're at f4 on this lens. Now with the newer sensors, you can just bump your ISO up, it's not a big deal, but I'm pointing that out so you can understand that even at f4, straight f4, not a 1.8 like I was just shooting with, I'm going to be able to put enough light into it and still be far enough away to where I'm not being intrusive on my client. Make sense? So, i get my settings here. I'm at 27% now. I'm obviously going to have to bump it up. Okay. And to give you guys a different look, we'll switch it up real quick. Katie, go sit down. Thank you. Brooke, come on up, sweetie. All right. So we got Fireball right here. So again, just I told you guys I'd show you. It's not difficult at all. Anyone can do it. And take this light, remove this clear case. And there's a lip on these, and if you have multiple filters, because sometimes you can have like a color filter and a diffuser, you can put them inside, and, and I'll, this will make more sense once you're touching them. You can put multiple filters inside and then screw, them, screw it on. When you just have one and you want to make sure that it stays still, you flip it around the other way, because then it, then it locks into place. So that's what I'm going to do. Well, it might help to put the filter on the right side. Put this guy on. Now I might just bring one of these lights and, oh my gosh, that's going to be awesome. I'm going to put on the 55 1.8 lens. Look right at me right here. Perfect. I come in. You see how you guys can really start to play with these lights? The only thing I love about continuous lighting is, I say this all the time when I shoot, when I take and I set up the scene, I can move anywhere that I want. Now see, I took this shot, there's going to be a little bit of that red coming under her hair, okay? So now I can take this light, bring it around, kick up the light. I have this, this light in front off to the side just a little bit, okay? Turn and look into this light for me, honey. Just like that. Beautiful. So now I'm just adding a little bit of light back into her, uh, some, some accent lighting in the back of her head. Bring this up. Turn and look at me, sweetie. Smile. 
Beautiful. Now, typically, people are trying to sell you um, flashes, gels, right? That have that can do that in the back. Guys, look how easy this is. I'm trying to show you just how easy it can be. I'm not running around like a chicken with my head cut off. I just have the lights set up. I just move them around. I'm very methodical in how I work. Can you guys turn all the lights off? Okay, turn it way down. That's that one. That's that one? Yeah. Pull it back a little bit. It's too bright. Tell you these shots, I mean these uh lights are so you can do a myriad of things, guys. It's just truly astounding what you can do with these lights. So when you're doing macro shots, what you want to do is a variety of shots, okay? And you want to really change the direction of the light, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, pull the light up now, Joyce. I want you guys to watch how the light changes on the diamond. Bring it, no, bring it down. There we go, down a little bit more. Okay. Bring it over to the left side now. There you go, stay right there. And you're going to see it start to pop a little bit. There we go. And then, guys, you can also, we haven't touched on this yet, start changing your white balance. I can make it warmer. Bring it up. Look at the difference in this shot. Now I change the white balance on the actual light. Changes the whole shot. See that? I mean, just look at the pictures on the bottom and how it changes. So now I'm going to do some wide angle shots for you guys. All right. So I'm going to have you two stand right here. Back to back, like soul sisters. There you go, fantastic. There you go, put your right foot forward, Brooke. There you go, you, there you go. Come over here for me, hon, fantastic. Put your booties together, fantastic. Put your left foot forward, Katie, awesome. Katie, take your left hand and put it on your knee. Not, I'm sorry, not your knee, just put it on your leg. Okay, pop that hip, give me some swivel, girl, perfect. You do the same, Brooke, turn your head, your, not your head, your hips this way. Fantastic, okay. You two are gonna lock arms, just like that. Your sisters, your friends for life, it's adorable. Okay, I'm gonna pull, pull this back, okay. Now again, what I'm gonna do, like I was mentioning earlier, is I'm gonna get my lighting set as to how I like it behind them, okay. So, you guys constantly see me changing because I'm changing lenses. So obviously when you change lenses, you are going to be changing everything else. Now you want to block that backlight. You see how that backlight's coming in the middle of them? You absolutely need to block that backlight. So now I've added two. Uh, are both of those lights, Jason, are both of them on 100%? Yes. Awesome, all right. So again, this would be one way. Let's imagine you're shooting a groom, right? You want to kill the lights in a, wedding, in a hotel room. You can do a really cool silhouette. Okay, guys like to look cool. You could have him stand there, you could backlight him, give a really cool silhouette. Uh, break that pose real quick. Katie, come over here for me. Brooke, stay there. Brooke, come over. Fantastic. There you go. Put both hands in your pockets. Don't, don't go far, Katie. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Hips this way for me. Fantastic. Now again, this is more of a, just a silhouette, right? Jason, bring that backlight up. I know it's hard, brother. Point it down. Yeah, one, two, three. So guys, this is just like more of a silhouette that I'm getting now. I'm trying to show you guys how you can start building shots. Okay, so now I, I have that green sign is kind of killing things, but you guys get the, there you go. All right, so now I'm getting more of a silhouette with the, the image, okay? Now I'm gonna add, what you start doing is you start adding the light that you need. Now you're gonna be very careful here with the light output that you have. Turn this light down even more. I can come to the side, I can add a light right over here, okay, right over here. This is the absolute best thing you guys can do when you're learning. Just move the lights, guys, okay, stay just like that, look at the crowd, one, two, three. So if, if you have in a pose that you like, put your hips back this way for me, fantastic, and come bring this light up, move it around. 
Again, taking my time, guys, just being methodical and taking my time. So I love, I, if you ever are able to get backlighting with front lighting, guys, you're going to want to go that route. At least for, that's my ever to be humble opinion, okay? Put both arms above your head for me. There you go. Cross them over like this. Fantastic. Look that way for me. Beautiful. One, two, three. All right, so, um, so we'll start with you. Why don't you come on up? You can help me. Um, this is something that I do at my workshops. I think one of the best ways to help teach people how to shoot is to actually incorporate them into your shoot. You guys see me do this all the time. I love using people, and I, I love doing it like this as well because it'll show you that these lights can be used by anyone, okay? And then once I finish with some of my setup, you guys will be able. I need one more person. Who else can come down? Come on down, brother. All right. And then I'll, I'll, if there is anyone else who, after I torture these poor individuals, once they return to their seats, if anyone else would like to come up, please raise your hand and you're know, welcome to the torture chamber. Now, one thing that you guys should know when you're shooting, people tell me all the time, well, it must be nice being you, you have assistance. I shot a lot of time without assistance, I really did. However, I learned four or five years ago, there's always somebody who knows less than you. There really is, believe it or not, believe it or not. It's true, somebody knows less than you. There's always somebody that's willing to walk around and help you for free. It's true, it really is. All you gotta do is ask. You know how many photography students sitting in school would love an opportunity just to walk around, even if you just have a paid gig, even if it's a $500 wedding, right? A thousand quid wedding, whatever it might be. Someone will come and help you. And I'm gonna show you how I've never worked with these individuals. This is not a setup, right? No. no. Yeah, you have more hair than I've ever had in my whole life, okay? <laughs> so this is not a setup. We're, we're going to work with these folks, and I'm going to show you guys how they can help me just set up lights and how you guys can very easily replicate these things because one thing that I pride myself on is I want people to come away from a learning experience with me. I want them, it's not the same as one of my workshops, but I want you guys to be able to see this is replicatable. This is something that you guys can do. We'll go with the grips. I think that'd be a great idea. Can you, would you mind kneeling down for me? Fantastic. Now bring the light up. Fantastic. Bring it up higher. You're going to bring this light up pretty much where it's going to be parallel with her head. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Now, now I'm going to take a shot. Bring this light right here. Primarily when I'm shooting, I'm going for catch light, okay? So this light that's right here is going to come in from about here and come into her eyes. Chin up. There you go. Just, oh, come back. There you go. Fantastic. I'm going to look at her. Fire. Guys, great photography is about bringing people to life. Okay? Light brings people to life. It is that simple. Okay? You got to bring people alive. That's how you're going to that's how you're going to create it. Now let's do a little bit of work with the eyes. Pull the light up for me. That's you, my brother. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Come right here, sweetheart. Perfect. Bring that light up right here. Now, when I'm shooting, and you guys have seen me do a lot of headshots, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm always going to tilt their head a little bit. That's going to slim them. Okay? I don't want the nose to cross the cheek. That's a big no-no. I'm going to bring the nose back. There we go. I have the catch light in the eyes. I'm always going to have the light elevated over the person's face. Why do I do that? What happens if I bring the light down here? What happens if I bring the light down here? I get shadow. Now we bring this light up, put it there. All of a sudden I've, I've slimmed her, and now we have this light. You see this light coming down, cutting through her, her neck, right? This light now cutting through her neck is slimming her, okay? We don't want a very broad light. That broad light is going to be very unflattering to our subject, okay? So by us coming down, we're actually having that light fall off and it's slimming her face, okay? So now I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna shoot. All right, give me light back, lady. Perfect, one, two, three. Isn't that awesome, guys? Look at that catch light right in her eyes. Well, she's, oh, she's, fall <laughs> she's falling asleep again. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but but that catch light 
is, maybe I fired too quick, but that catch light, guys, that's what we're looking for. We really want that light in the eyes. All right, thank you, guys. We'll have some more assistance come up. Okay, so, in a very non-crazy way, do you mind, do you two mind pretending to dance? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not dancing, alright? You won't dance with me? <laughs> That's just rude. That's <laughs> rude. <laughs> alright. Alright, so now for everybody's knowledge, I'm shooting with the uh, Zeiss 16-35 FE4, uh, F4 lens. Okay? Woo, and I'm going way too far. Okay. So we're going to change the dance floor. You guys are going to come right here just because I'm tethered. Fantastic. Come right here for me. What's your name, sir? Andy. Andy, come on over here for me, brother. What is your name, sir? Keith. Keith, perfect. All right. You're going to come over here. Yeah, there you go. Get down on the ground for me. I'm treating him just like my assistants. <laughs> See this little bit of backlighting that's coming in on her arm? Stay right there, sweetie. It's very soft on her, but it makes, it makes her more, it brings out more dimensions in her. Remove that light. Take that light down, brother. It just gets dead. It's dead now, right? Add that little bit of light. It doesn't have to be a huge amount of rim lighting, kicker light, backlight, halo light, whatever you want to call it. It's just a little bit of an accent. See, see, photography is all about just these little nuances that make it... Photography, great photography isn't that much greater than good photography. It's just the person taking the picture, the person creating the image, took a little bit more time and a little bit more care and paid more attention to details and they created something magical rather than something that's just blah. Okay, And when it comes to creating the magical, I don't care what anyone on this earth says. It has everything to do with light. Everything to do with light. Okay? So, that lights up. All right, ready, dance. Okay, fantastic. So these are, this is my lovely couple. Found them in Amsterdam. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> so so now, 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 if you were in... If you were in a, um, a reception hall, there'd be people behind them. See, now that's, now you're going to wait for your spots when you're shooting, guys. Now wait, now, no, keep going. I'm not going to direct you. <laughs> There's a great shot right there. Okay, keep going. Now I can't, now if I wasn't tethered, keep this in mind. I, my limitation is I'm tethered right now. If I wasn't tethered, I could move with them. Something that I'll do at a wedding, and I, I can't do it since I'm tethered, but I'll, I'll at least show you what I would do is I will actually follow them around. So I will, I will kind of orbit them. And as they're moving, the reason I'm moving with them is because I want to get different things behind them. Mom and dad could be behind them over here. Bride, bride and groom, mom and dad. Uh, or not bride and groom, that'd be really weird. That's like, that's like hillbilly stuff, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Bristol. <laughs> Bristol. <laughs> okay, we just called the Appalachians. All right. Over here, she's from Appalachia, that's why I said it. Okay, um, over here could be the groom's parents. Over here could be the bride's parents, okay? You guys get my point? I can have totally different angles and I can change everything. Over here could very well be some, some, some uh, like hanging lights, right? If we want to get some bokeh in our shots. We want to get some great fall off, some great depth of field. There could be lights over here that aren't present here. By me getting these lights set up to where, the, where I want them, I can actually move with my couple and I can get the shots that I want. But if I got a lot of shots of her, but I didn't get as much of her, I could just come right back. My assistants will tell you I do this all the time. This is how I shoot a wedding. I'll come back and I will always circle. It's very rare that you'll see me shooting where I am standing still. That's boring photography. Mix it up for your clients. These lights enable you to do exactly that because they, this lighting is set. You guys really like to dance, okay? Are you going to stop? I'll keep going. Perfect. Go ahead and pop it up at her. Fantastic. One, two, look up at the light, just like that. Bring that light down back there. Now watch, this is cool. Look right at me, Brooke. I could just move the catch light to where I find it appealing, right? So here I want to do it here. I want it more in this section of the eye, right? Now I can change where the catch light hits. See that? I mean, guys, just the options are endless. You can choose where you want that catch light to go. Look right. 
So guys, I hope this has helped. It'll show you just, guys, just play. Just have fun, just get out there, just try things. Don't be afraid, thank you, Brookie. When you fix the technical stuff, the creative stuff starts to become easy. When you are hampered technically, the creative becomes very frustrating. I've seen more and more creatives that are just burned out, say they can't do it anymore, they're done, simply because of the fact that technically they're hamstrung. And they just feel like, you know what, screw it. I've been there. How many of you guys have bought an expensive piece of equipment that's supposed to deliver wonders, and you can't figure it out, and you spend two hours, pocket wizard, you spend five hours, okay? Pocket wizard, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, then you set up this elaborate set with your, with your clients there, and then when it doesn't work, you look like a fool. I like products that I know are going to deliver. I really, really do. So with that being said, guys, we have to wrap it up. I can take a few more questions, and then you guys can go buy Rotolites. Would you use the, the smaller version as a backlight and the Novas as the front, or would it be the other way around? You would use, uh, well, that's a fantastic question. Would they be overpowering? I would, the Nova can be dialed all the way down, so it is not overpowering if you don't want it to be. That being said, if you, I love dynamic, beautiful, wow shots, right? Um, I did a project at the circus that some of you may be following. I put the Innova behind my subject because when you put that Innova, that's like firing a huge flash. But the light is much more controllable. I have the barn doors, I can control the, everything. I put the Innova behind and then I put the Neo up front. And uh, the results were, were astounding. Because that back Innova, guys, this Innova, I know I didn't get a chance to do much with it, but <laughs> when you see what I did with the, the circus, here's what you need to know. The circus is full of light professionals. When I brought that Innova out, they said, how can we buy these? Do you shoot, uh, use the Innova with video yourself? Or? A great question. Um, yeah, absolutely. We actually film a lot of our interviews uh, with the Innova. Um, I interviewed people at the circus. Um, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, we're, we've been using the Innova more and more and more. We just got the new Innova maybe two months ago, and we've actually used it quite extensively. I mean, it just, it's, it's on a battery pack. You can just, I mean, guys, if you have the money, that thing is just outrageous. And the cool thing is it's not that heavy, comparatively speaking. Yeah. Do they, do they come with the filters? They do, yeah. The same kind of, same sort Yeah, of yep, color. yep. Diffusers and, and colors. Yeah, there's a whole stack of them there. So yeah, they d definitely come with them. So uh, you guys are more than welcome to come up, ask me any questions. We can talk about the lights. We can talk about it. You can use them if you'd like to practice. Like he said, we do have the models available. You can come up and shoot with them. You can practice. I can give you any tips that you'd like. Um, so let's do it. You're welcome, guys. Thank you. Thank you. That's the loudest it's been in this theater the whole time. You Brits. Uh, I'm American, so I, I was just sitting in the back <laughs> enjoying it. So it was lovely. Well, thank you so much Thanks for again. coming. Right. I appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you have really a good time? Interesting. Yeah, it was really interesting. I don't do the kind of photography you do, but I can see how I can use yeah, and that's the I hope that you're yeah. using and adapt them to fit the scenario. Good. Mine, so yeah, really good. Well, thank, thank you for you coming. Much. No, thank you for coming all the way from America. You're welcome. <laughs> take care. Can I have one picture, please? Yeah. Yes, I'll take it. Oh, please. please. See, you're here or today. <laughs> <laughs> Celebrity, isn't it? <laughs> oh, he is indeed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one minute. Okay, that's good. You taking a picture of my belly? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's dark. Oh, you got to get better lighting than that. Yeah, Come on, go. brother. Yeah, okay, there you go. You're freaking at <laughs> roto light. And you get catch light. Lovely. Thank you so much. Yeah, for that You're welcome. Lovely. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Hey, but he just do the same for me. Is yes. that all right? Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Jason. Appreciate You're it. You're welcome, brother. Thank you. It's just normal. Yeah, no back button. No. Okay. Uh, yeah, back button focusing, yeah. Okay. Oh, like the sound piece. Thank you. <laughs> Got, done it. Thanks again, Jason. Thank you so really much for coming. It. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, Jenny. You too.
a really nice meeting you. Yeah, Thank you. We've been following your way. video, everything. Yeah. 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 Last night or the day before last night, I was watching your, all your videos till three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I had the last to my yeah. wife. I'm meeting this guy, yeah, after two days. <laughs> well, <laughs> I was like, okay, all right. Sleep <laughs> like, <now."> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> And I can see some parts of the wedding day where they'd be awesome. So bride getting ready shots, great. Yeah, I first think, dance shot, absolutely. Yeah, I, I think the only time these are not going to be applicable um, for a wedding photographer are going to be, quite frankly, um, ceremony. Yeah, you inappropriate, know. I think. Yeah, it, ceremony, definitely not. Um, I think other times would be um, maybe a couple shoot, you know, if it's really bright outside. But you know, you I can see this time of year where it's kind of the lights going early. Right. It'd be awesome. It'd be awesome. And another one is a lot. Uh, I'll do it all the time. I'll stick them right in front of a. Um, I'll stick them underneath a tree, just a little bit of shade. Mm -hmm. And you pop these on, and you expose to the background. You pop these lights on. They oh, look. They look that, yeah. yeah, they look brilliant. Yeah, and they're clearly um, strong enough to do that. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, so I want to go come to one of the workshops, but I want to go in the States. I don't want to go to one of you. <laughs> I don't blame you. Because the weather's always crap. Well, you know, I, I, I don't mean that in a bad way of saying I don't blame you, but, yeah, I mean, if you have the, if you have the ability to go to seats and see something new or, yeah. yeah. So now we're off back now. So All right, guys. That's great. Well, thank you for coming. I do uh, appreciate it. Take care, guys. Nice meeting you, my Nice friend. meeting you, brother. Thank you very much. I enjoyed that today. It was You're really welcome. good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I've been enjoying this too. I haven't got All rid right. of my Nikon stuff because I've got too much invested in it, but I bought the adapter and everything, so I use the lenses. Yeah. So, but it's great to see you. Great right? to meet so, you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you for helping. Thank you so much. Are they still? Just give me one second. I'll answer that. Are you leaving, honey? Yeah. You are beautiful and wonderful. <laughs> Thank you so much. Right. Thank okay, you. but the with my new friend. Absolutely. Super. Wow. That, yeah. that is awesome. And that's um, uh, mirrorless. You say. should send these to me. I'll post them. I'll, I'll yeah. credit you. Oh, would you? Oh, absolutely. That's oh, well. awesome. Send yeah. that to me. Okay, I will. Yeah, All please right. do. How do I send it to on your Facebook? Facebook or just email me. All right, so you, Steve, you remember me today, then I'll yeah. do that. All yeah, right, that's I beautiful. I, I, I will now give you credit for it. Oh, mate, thank you ever All so right. much. You're welcome. <laughs> well, I'll email you those production shots. Yes, I know but you have a to, ton. To, I need to, to look at them. To where? To where? To where? To just where. Jason. <laughs> Jason at jlpros.com. Jason at jlpros.com. I remember that. Remember that. Jason at jlpros.com. Take it easy. All right, brother. I'll thank you. Go home. Take it Until easy. Until next time. All right, brother. No, hey, I'll email you everything. Like any tool, you know, I wouldn't shoot a wedding without a flash. You know, I'm not saying that. Yeah. What I am saying is you sh Which horse is for course, isn't it, I think? I think you just need to come the right bit of kit for the right moment. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I like the fact that they're quite... And, you know, although it's a permanent light, it's uh, they're actually quite unobtrusive, as you say. Yeah, they're, they're small. Of, and you do get very used to it. Um, yeah, I mean... One of the things I hate about the first start is that even when you've got disco lights and things like that, I'm very conscious of my light banging off, mm -hmm. you know, and you just think... You know, you know other benefit to these versus um, other lights is... Um, or even the flash, you mentioned the disco ball. I mean, that disco ball will wreak havoc mm. on the wedding dress. You know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. red, blue, everything yeah, else. So you put the these on, and I mean, it helps to really balance that out and cancel out that light. Yeah. Or you just tell the you just tell the DJ to turn them off. It's phenomenal. You put that you put that light right on top of the camera, like right here. Look at that. Nice. Look at that. All the way from the U.S. of A. <laughs> <laughs> he he got me. He did it. He did it. He got me twisted. <laughs> I think I think to be fair. Well, I'm glad you had a good time. Sure. sure. I have a question for you. Yeah. Uh, wait, wait, I'll let you take yeah. it. I'll try yeah. my. Yes. Yeah. But I'm um, sadly, I've only got my phone, my iPhone. Lip, lip by the Neo. I love it. Yeah, we do. I love this light. Yeah. You guys, they're they're really awesome. Yeah. I started off with the. I've got the RL 48s right now. Uh huh. And I've been using those for about two years. Yeah. But as soon as they told me about these ones, I'm like, I gotta definitely. Get them. Yeah, it's funny because when I when they told me about the Neos, I said there's got to be some perk to being the ambassador. You guys gotta yeah. send me a kit, and and they sent me the prototypes. And it's funny they said the prototypes. Be careful with them. Yeah. 
And that's what I was shooting with in San Francisco. I love that picture of the woman in the red dress. Yeah. Just sitting there. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> hey, nice yeah, to meet you, brother. Yeah, on. absolutely. Yeah. It's a Nikon, I can't do it. Just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> I still love Nikon. I'm going to stop saying that stuff. Thanks, mate. You're welcome. You have a good time? Yeah, then I'll follow, see all your videos. Oh, stuff. thank you. Oh, that's back button here. Sorry. <laughs> I'll be right with you. Yeah? Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much. Um, but we've had a fantastic time here. Uh, we sold a lot, a lot of lights because the lights are amazing, guys. Um, I can't recommend them enough. I've worked with Rolite for two years. And uh, to be able to come here in London and to be able to be with this amazing group of people is truly an honor. You guys make amazing products. The products are made right here in the UK. It's not farmed out. They, they really care about quality. Uh, you guys have probably already seen that I dropped one during the presentation, put it back together, turned right back on, which is we expect nothing less. So is there anything you guys would like to add? I'd just like to say a huge thank you on our behalf and it's been an absolute pleasure. So Absolutely. Thanks so Absolutely. much. Absolutely. We're looking to do more of this. Uh, I know you guys out in Australia are looking for us to come and we're, we're going to come. Um, and wherever you guys want us to come, we're going to come, trust me, because this was a huge success. We had people come from, from Holland, from the Netherlands, from all over uh, Europe, from the United States. The guy came not for my workshop, he came for the presentation, which is still kind of makes me... It's unbelievable. Until next time, guys, keep shooting. Never give up on your dreams. Uh, find amazing people to work with. Thank you to my crew. And, and uh, remember, you only have one chance to get it right. Talk to you later. Bye. Jason. Oh, uh, by the way. We one, love you. Oh, nice. You know, these, you got that? we did. <laughs> these men in Europe, I was kissed in, in, in Edinburgh. Now I've been kissed by, I was about to say. Just him. I was about to say. But <laughs> I've just been kissed by Indiana Jones. Don't, don't say Sean because I don't want to be associated. Oh. <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm speechless, you know, yeah, between you know, pillowcase, so between <laughs> pillowcase boy and the Beebs. And by the way, whoever he does kiss for real life, you know, that, that's pretty that's prickly. Quite nice, wasn't it? <laughs> no, no, I feel like a Brillo pad. You feel a little prick. It was little. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're stopping because it's getting bad. Talk to you later. Bye.